Hey there, folks. Santee at the Arizona Ghost Traders here. We got mail. Hey, Santee. Can you talk about the Arizona Rangers? Phil Strickland. Yeah, Phil. We can do that. In researching the Texas Rangers, it came to mind that there were a few other Ranger organizations in the Western Territories. Colorado Rangers, California Rangers, go, go, Rangers, and our very own Arizona Rangers. Many folks are under the impression that the Wild West was over by 1899. The truth is, some territories weren't ready for that classification. Arizona was teeming with lawlessness and the citizens wanted something done. The success of Texas's Ranger Division spurred a lot of interest in this type of law. One newspaper editorial proclaimed, When such conditions exist, a company of paid rangers are required to stamp out and destroy the characters that bring about such a state of affairs. Let us have a territorial ranger service. The citizens' prayers were answered. On March 21st, 1901, the territorial government formed a ranger division with enough of a budget to hire a captain, a sergeant, and 12 privates. Captain Bert Mossman, who agreed to a year's employment, looked for men who could ride, shoot, and track. He could track a duck across a pond. Like other ranger divisions in other states, they had to supply their own firearms and horses. However, if their horse died in fulfilling its duty, the territory would replace it. At the end of their first year, they had arrested thieves, wrestlers, murderers, and even put a few in the ground. The Rangers suffered one casualty. Helping out in a labor dispute added to their approval by the people of Arizona, which brought more support and more money, and by 1903, they were up to 26 men. I is the party of 26 men whose courage helped to build the territory. The government also supplied them with 1895 Winchester repeaters. However, the cost came out of the ranger's first paycheck. Captain Mossman fulfilled his first year and Tom Reining jumped into the saddle as their new captain. Reining believed the ranger's job was to arrest a man, not to kill him. He trained the men pretty thoroughly to get the drop on rapscallions so they would give up. They used their six guns on horseback, then learned to slide off the horse drawing their rifle at one fluid movement. Ranger Jim Bailey was held at gunpoint by two outlaws while on horseback. Bailey distracted the two, which gave him time to do a similar maneuver, getting his rifle trained on them in a split second and using his horse as a protective barrier. Even though it was two to one, the exposed miscreants didn't want to risk it and gave up. Put your hands up. No. It wasn't all arrests in 1903. Ranger Webb and two other lawmen heard gunshots coming from the Cowboys Home Saloon in Douglas and went to investigate. Lon Bass, one of the owners, threatened and physically abused Webb. The ranger pulled his revolver and shot Lon Bass dead. Okay, here's a fun one. Reining and another ranger were trying to catch a rustler who was stealing calves from a rancher. They inserted silver dollars into small slits they cut into the loose neck skin of some of the calves. And the money kept rolling in from every side. The rustler was arrested later on, and the rangers proved they were stolen by producing the coins. By 1905, the rangers had cleared up the major rustling problems in Arizona. However, there was still much to do, as baddies still frequented the area. It won't do any good now. Look behind you. In 1907, Reining took a job as superintendent at Yuma Territorial Prison, and Harry Wheeler became the third Ranger captain. When Jeff Kidder, perhaps the best gunman of the Rangers, was shot and killed by Mexican policemen, Wheeler went down to investigate and retrieve his possessions. On February 15, 1909, the Arizona Rangers were disbanded. They did what they set out to do. The outlaw element in the territory was essentially driven out. Three years later, Arizona became a state. Today, the Arizona Rangers exist as a non-commissioned civilian auxiliary 
providing armed security services for various venues, and they are no longer funded by the government. Our own Arizona Red was a ranger. Don't worry, he didn't shoot anybody. There are a bunch of stories related to these men. This isn't the last you'll hear about them in our videos, so don't fret. There's more in store. That's not quite what I meant. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget, we've got merchandise on sale until the end of the month. And we also have Patreon. So keep that in mind. Mrs. Santee says it's good until Labor Day. Labor Day? Labor Day. I guess we're doing it until Labor Day. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail. Pew, 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 pew. Pew. I might just give up. I might just give up.